Boston Dynamics are a major player in the robotics world and today they have unveiled their brand new robot. This company is known for its incredible feats of engineering, projects that you've likely seen before like Spot which is in use all over the world, or the old Atlas, the parkour robot. But what they've shown today takes robotics to the next level. Let's have a look at this. So just yesterday, Boston Dynamics posted a video on their YouTube channel, which was a farewell to the original Atlas, which was their incredible robot known for doing parkour and being versatile. And this announcement came with some speculation. It was rumored that Boston Dynamics was saying goodbye to the old Atlas to introduce a new type of robot that would be better suited in our future. Finishing the video with Till We Meet Again Atlas hinting at a new release, and after just one day of waiting, Boston Dynamics announced their new robot. Now this video shows things that we've never seen in a robot up to this point. The new Atlas shows how strong and balanced it is, how it's able to turn around without moving its whole body, and rather just twisting the torso, making this robot look incredibly valuable for practical uses. And the robot demonstrates fluid movement when walking away, which is something that has caused these robotics companies a lot of trouble in the past. Like if we compare that to the Tesla bot here, one thing we do need to wait to see is if this robot has dexterity, but this is just one humanoid robot of many that we've seen release over the past few months alone. Figure, Tesla, Agility, Aptronic, all companies coming out with improved robots. So why now? And why have Boston Dynamics quickly shifted their focus to humanoid robots? Well, given the arms race-like competition between AI companies right now, a race has also sparked between robotics companies to create the best humanoid robot. Because when AGI is ready to be deployed into homes and businesses and factories, it needs a shell to live in, in order to perform real-world tasks. And although humanoid may not be the most practical design, given the constant previous struggle of balance, dexterity, and walking, all things that humans find easy. A humanoid design is intuitive to us as people. As humans, we like to see other humans, or at least something resembling one. And so now, the race is on to not only create the most practical robot, but the best mix of practical and good looking. I mean, if you don't believe me, just take a look at this bar chart here. The robotics market in 2022 was worth approximately $72 billion, which then rose to $82 billion in 2023 a number that is expected to reach 94 billion by the end of this year and is projected to hit 283 billion by the year 2032. And myself and a lot of other people would likely agree that this is probably an underestimate as far as the next 10 years goes, which if these projections prove to be true, would mean that the robotics market grew 390% in just 10 years. One concern that people have brought up is that although this robot does look really high quality, it does look like Boston Dynamics is heading down the path to make a perfect robot, which could be the wrong approach, at least from a business perspective, as when AGI is ready to be deployed into robotics for sale and commercial and business use, the robot will need to be mass produced for the lowest cost possible, and if this robot costs too much it may just not be feasible for a lot of businesses, but then again maybe that is the approach they're going for, the higher end luxury robot, compared to for example Unitree's H1 robot, which looks like it will likely be on the other end of the spectrum and will be cheap to mass produce and provide to businesses and or homes without compromising on things like speed and flexibility and balance. But that's all for today. So if you're still here, I really appreciate you. Drop a like if you can. It really helps me out. Thanks for watching.